What's up guys and welcome back to episode 14 of the free to play level 3 skiller series. We are starting out this video with 599 total level with a free total level of 591, which means that we need 59 more levels to go up to the next rank in the district 3 clan chat. I currently have base 75s besides runecrafting, I'm not sure when I'm going to do that. I do have a new method that I want to try out with runecrafting, hopefully it's faster and less click intensive than what I was doing in the previous videos, but I'm not going to be doing that in this video. But the first thing we are going to do in this video is train some crafting. But before we get into that, I just remembered that I never accepted the cash that we got back from selling all of those mithril plate bodies. We currently have a 3 mil cash stack and in the grand exchange, we have about 6.9 mil which brings our current cash stack up to 9,950,000 GP. Going from level 68 to 75 smithing really didn't damage my cash stack as much as I thought it would. And we're definitely going to get back to the 10 mil cash stack after we're done crafting. We're going to be training until level 80 crafting. So as per usual, let's pull up the calculator and see how many ruby necklaces we need to make. All right, so in order to get level 80 crafting, we are going to need to make 10,334 ruby necklaces. So we now have 9.4 mil worth of items buying in the Grand Exchange, which brings our cash stack all the way down to 528k. That's so depressing looking. But it's all good though, we're definitely going to be profiting making these ruby necklaces, and I'm excited for all of this to buy so that we can see how much money we make. Back in the Edgefield furnace, where the fires glow bright. Crafting ruby necklaces from morning to night Each gem is a treasure, each necklace a sail With cash on my mind, I will prevail Alright, we only got one more inventory until we get to level 80 crafting. This is going by way faster than I thought it was going to. Making ruby necklaces is about 80,000 XP an hour, and in order to go from level 75 to 80 in a stat is about 800,000 XP. So I've been here for a little under 10 hours in total, and the grind isn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be, mainly because I'm getting so much XP an hour. So I actually don't mind doing these at all, because it's nice knowing that I'm making some cash and I'm getting pretty good XP. But anyway, here we go, level 80 crafting, our first ever 80 stat on this account. If we remember, we can now make glory amulets. That would be so nice because we'd have teleports to Drainer Village, Edgeville, and Alcarid. That would be amazing for Clue Scrolls. But unfortunately, glories are for members only. So we now have all of our ruby necklaces here. Let's go sell them, see how much money we make. Also, by the way, I forgot to point this out, getting level 80 crafting brought us up to a free total level of 596 and a regular total level of 604. The reason I always say free total level is because that's what the clan uses to calculate the ranks in free to play. Because the difference here is these level 1 member stats count towards your total level. And if you're a free to play only account, these levels should not count. So technically, we have 596 total level. According to Jagex, you go by a free total level as well because you can't get into the 500 total worlds in free to play if you don't have a free total level of at least 500. So yeah, we only have four more levels to go until 600 free total level. Then we have 50 more free levels to go until we go up a rank in the District 3 clan chat. All right, ruby necklaces are in and ready to be sold. Because I'm getting so much XP an hour here, I don't really mind making these. And the grind was a lot shorter than I thought it would be. So I think I'm going to buy more supplies to make more of these at least enough to get to level 85 crafting. 
In order to go from level 80 crafting to 85, we're going to need to get just under 1.3 million XP. And the amount of ruby necklaces we're going to need to make is 16,967. So basically 17,000 more ruby necklaces. All right, we are back. Everything sold for almost 11.2 mil, which is very nice considering that we previously bought all of the supplies for 9.4 mil. And I just did the math on a calculator and we profited 1,726,000 GP. That's not a lot of money to make in 10 hours of gameplay, but it is nice to be making that money while getting at least 80,000 XP an hour, especially in free to play. So what we're going to do now is take all of this money that we literally just got and we're going to dump it into more supplies for crafting. Okay, yeah, so we are several mil short of being able to buy all the rubies all at once, which isn't a big deal because we'll just buy what we can and then sell the ruby necklaces that we make with those rubies in order to buy more rubies to finish off 85 crafting. So the amount I was able to buy was 12,150 and we are left with a 23,000 GP cash sack. That is very, very sad. But it's all good though, because more money we spend doing this, the more profit we get back. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys once everything has been purchased. 12 sleepless hours later. Just finishing up the last inventory of ruby necklaces until we gotta go buy some more rubies, which means that we now have 12,150 ruby necklaces. Let's go get these sold so that that way we can get our last 4,817 rubies to finish off 85 crafting. All right, and all the ruby necklaces have sold for just over 13 mil. But the profit's not over yet. We still got to buy another 4,800 rubies. So let's get this cash and put that offer in. And the rubies have now been purchased for a total of 3.8 mil. Now let's get back to crafting. All right, level 84 crafting. And the reason that's important is... Not because if we remember we can make onyx bracelets and black dragonite armor, but because we are now 600 free total level. Very cool. We only got 50 more levels until we go up to the diamond ranked in district three. Not sure how we're going to get there with all of these stats. Whenever I do train rune crafting, that's probably going to help a bit because it's so low currently. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing cooking and fire making at some point too. So those should be some pretty quick levels as well. But yeah, guys, free total level 600. All right, we only got two more ruby necklaces to make until we get to level 85 crafting and finish the grind of ruby necklaces. And here we go, level 85 crafting. If we remember, we can make amethyst arrow tips. That would be really nice for fletching XP. Not like it matters because fletching is also a member's skill. But a message went off in the clan chat, which is very cool. Thank you to everyone in District 3 for congratulating me on 85 crafting. But now that all of these necklaces are made and we've been making ruby necklaces for this entire video so far, I'm low key kind of thinking we should just stick with ruby necklaces for the rest of the video because as I've said multiple times already, the grind's not bad at all. We make good money and we're getting good experience. So I think I'm gonna keep grinding crafting maybe until even level 90, wouldn't that be cool? But back to the necklaces, let's get these things sold and all of these should sell for almost 5.2 mil. So we're just going to wait here until they sell, then we're going to spend all of our cash once again on more materials to make more ruby necklaces. This crafting grind is getting so out of hand, and I love it. We did want to grind all the way up to level 90 crafting, making ruby necklaces. We need to make 27,836 of them, and I know for a fact we don't have enough cash to buy that many rubies. We're actually not even close to the amount that we need for that many rubies. Okay, so the money's now in to buy 15,500 materials for ruby necklaces. If I make all of these into ruby necklaces, we should be getting level 88 crafting. And at that point, you guys know the drill. We're going to sell all the stuff that we made back to the Grand Exchange. And then we're going to buy the rest of the supplies needed to go from level 88 to 90 crafting. 2,000 years later. So we literally only need to make just one more ruby necklace in order to get to level 90 crafting. First level 90 on this account. I am so excited. Your crafting level is now 90. And if we remember, we can make onyx amulets and redwood birdhouses. That's really cool. And you guys know the drill. Let's get to the grand exchange and get these things sold. And everything sold for 13.2 mil. Bringing our total cash stack all the way up to 18.8 mil. I was really wanting to reach a 20 mil cash stack, but we're about 1.1 mil off of that. So uh, I think we should get level 92 crafting, don't you guys think? <laughs> I know that I've been doing a lot of crafting this video, 
But since we are making a crafting only video, I think I want to get level 92 crafting. Because as you guys all know, 92 is halfway to 99. So if we can get to 92 crafting, that would be an awesome place to call it a day. And in order to get level 92 crafting, we're going to need a total of 1,170,000 XP. And we're going to have to get there by making 15,612 ruby necklaces. And what's awesome about having an 18 mil cash stack is that we can actually afford to buy all of the rubies this time. If I'm able to get them for 795 each, we're going to be spending 12.4 mil on the rubies alone. And buying all of the gold bars that we need is going to be another 1.8 mil. Bringing our total grand exchange offer in for 14.2 mil. So I'm just going to leave these rubies in overnight to buy. Hopefully they buy at this price. And I will see you guys back at the forge with another crafting update. Here we are yet again with another final inventory until we get to a milestone. And here comes level 92 crafting. We are now officially halfway to level 99 crafting. We remember we can craft Zenite necklaces. That would be pretty cool. And now, say it with me guys, let's get to the grand exchange and see how much money we made. So now that we reached our goal of level 92 crafting, I think what we're going to do next is actually get level 95 crafting. Bet you guys weren't expecting that one, were ya? Yeah, I mean, I like the fact that we're 92 crafting halfway to 99. It's a perfect stopping point. However, level 95 crafting would look so much better next to all of these other stats. So I thought, hey, we're already making a whole dedicated video to this. Might as well go all the way. All right, the selling offers in the grand exchange. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to sell everything. But in the meantime, let's pull back open the calculator and see how many ruby necklaces we need to make in order to get to level 95 crafting. Okay, to go from levels 92 to level 95 crafting, we're going to need 2,254,305 XP, which means that we're going to need to make 30,058 ruby necklaces. That is a lot of necklaces. And all of the ruby necklaces sold for 16.5 mil bringing our total cash stack all the way up to 21.2 mil. We now officially have over 20 mil cash in the bank. I just can't get over how great it is making these ruby necklaces. So I want to buy all of the gold bars first, so that way we know how many rubies we can actually buy. And 30,058 gold bars, if I can get them at this price, cost just over 3.4 mil, which leaves us off with a 17.8 mil cash stack to buy rubies. And if I'm able to buy them at my regular price of 795 each, we could buy 22,250 rubies. And that's assuming everything goes for the prices that I'm buying them for. Supposedly gold bars are currently going for 133 each right now, which is really good. When I started this grind, I think they were about 100 each, 110 maybe. So my offer's in at 114, and then the rubies are apparently going for 822 each, and I'm trying to get them for 795. So I'll just leave these offers in for the rest of the day. Hopefully all these materials buy at the price I put in. Once again, we are on our last inventory until we got to buy more supplies to get level 95 crafting. We only need to make eight more ruby necklaces until we have a total of 22,000 ruby necklaces in the bank. We're currently at level 94 crafting with 600,000 XP to go until level 95. And after quite some time, everything has sold for the price I put them in at. So all that we need now is to buy 8,057 rubies, which should not be a big deal at all. The Grand Exchange tracker was saying that their actively traded price was actually 794. So we should be able to get these for 6.4 mil. And the grind is finally coming to an end with level 95 crafting, our first ever level 95 on this account. We remember we can make Zenite bracelets, that's pretty neat. And a message went off in the clan chat. Thank you everyone in District 3 for congratulating me. But let's go grab our necklaces, take them to the Grand Exchange, and see how much money we made this video. Okay, all the ruby necklaces sold for 8.5 mil, bringing our total cash stack all the way up to 25.7 mil. We started this video with 9,950,000 GP, which means that getting level 95 crafting solely for making ruby necklaces made us 15,750,000 GP. That is insane. I cannot believe that we are already a quarter of the way to a 100 mil cash stack. Do I ever think we'll get to a 100 mil cash stack? Probably not. But in free to play, it's really cool getting a level 95 stat while also now having a 25 mil cash stack. And being this close to level 99 crafting, I think there's only one thing to do. Let's get 99 crafting.